Good morning guys, Ozzy Hiker 88 here and it is the morning of the Jet Bullet Trail 2017. See if Amanda... Oh, 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 oh no! We are down here just about to catch the ferry ride across the Captain Gorge. And I'm here joined by all my friendly neighbourhood bats. <laughs> right, so Jet Bullet Tower, we're doing it in, we've got five days, four nights to complete it. And um, we've got a nice water hole to sleep at each night. Um, Self-sustainable the whole way, we've got to carry everything we take, carry everything out. Um, we can get water on the way, we've just got to filter it. Um, all our food, everything else we've got to take. So, it should be good. I did this one last year, but I didn't film it, so... I brought Amanda back with me this year and we're going to give it a go. It'll be a bit more relaxing and take it in a bit more this time. Let's see how we go. Alright, we just got dropped off by the boat. And we started our hike. It's definitely a bit more overgrown than when I did it last year. I did it I'm at the end of the dry season last year. End of August, start of September. So today is June the 5th, so it should be a lot cooler. Last year when I did it, it was uh, that hot you couldn't sleep. <laughs> last night we actually had a bit of a chill at the caravan park, so it's good. Should be. A lot nicer walking in the cooler weather too. It shouldn't get as hot during the day. So we should be all right. Uh, we've taken off at nine o'clock with nine other people. So I'd say some people started earlier. We should be all right. Ready for some good views and adventures. So we're only 10 minutes into the walk and you're already getting some nice views of the valley down there. It's a nice uphill gradient to get you warmed up. The track's pretty easy to follow as you can see. It's overgrown but easy to follow. By the end of the season it won't look like this. No, we started at 9 o'clock and the sun's just sort of come out, so already I've got my little temperature gauge. See what it gets up to this year. Last year it was up to 38 degrees during the day. Hoping it doesn't get anywhere near that this time. So we got our first section of swampy stuff and we're not even in a swampy area so she's going to be a bit of a slushy track I reckon. Yeehaw! Not really. So we've been walking for about 35 minutes, we've done just over 2Ks. So today is the easy day, first day we got 10Ks in total, I think it's 4 or 5Ks to Northern Rock Hole. Um, we'll have a bit of a break there, last year I skipped through there so I'm just going to take our time a bit more. And then yeah, 5, five or 6Ks to camp. So not too bad, it's 30 degrees at the moment, there's a bit of a breeze now, sort of down in a big valley. But we've just come out and off all the rocky stuff and it's like savannah grassland which is quite nice to walk on. Better than rolling the anchors in the rocks, so it's quite nice. 
quite nice. The weather's good. All right, we are coming up to Northern Rock Hole. It didn't take too long. We've been walking 50 minutes. We've come across this nice little creek down here, which is obviously the the runoff, and we even got our own nice little beach down there. <laughs> Meant to be out in the desert and we've got a beach. So, walk's been good so far. This time, just because we're only the fifth trip through, um, all the grass is sort of just pushed over and it's just slippery and little rocks on it everywhere. So, careful of the ankles, but you just sort of take your time and try and not take videos of yourself and fall over. <laughs> but, um, They said no swimming at Northern Rock Hole, which I don't know if it's, she said it's getting stagnant, but I don't know if it's because I don't think there'd be any crocodiles in there. They can get in this one though, because it does link up to the Catherine Gorge River. So we'll just stop and have a look and rest in the shade and take 15 minutes and keep cruising along. So we just finished up having a quick break at Northern Rock Hole. Probably there for 15 minutes or so. Took us pretty much an hour to get there, so it's only a quick little walk. And um, now we just got to walk out this creek bed, find our way back out to the cairn that we seen earlier, and continue walking to camp. Should only be another hour and a half two hours max to get to camp so be an early day good way to break in for the first day so this is our track I think Amanda's found it oh, yep there's our cone up on the tree little creek through here Definitely a lot more lush than it was last time, last year. The waterfall there at Northern Rock Hole was just flowing a little bit still, but it was um, starting to go stagnant, so. Bit of rock hopping. There you can see the waterfall up there. Up and over some trees. Now we've got to climb out up that way somewhere. Yeah. Our first little river crossing. See if Amanda gets wet feet. Oh, oh, oh. She's made it. Alright, so we've just come another one and a half k's, just up a nice incline and got the legs burning. We've just come onto a, it's a full drive track now, so it's, um, it's not too bad, it's a bit more of a trail, but not as loose, so, but um, we've just come up to our first nice vista view, check that out. It only get better, but that's a good start. So we've got a strong as wind, so it's keeping the temps down a bit. Dries your sweat up a bit, it's good. So we're gonna keep trekking along and 
should get to camp soon. All right, guys, we're just about to camp. I can see the toilet in the distance. There's um, a pretty rocky, mainly uphill, all the way till the last probably K, K and a half, and it um, flattens off a bit, a bit sandy, but as you can see me, tracks down the full rock. As you'll see, on things like this, they, they obviously haven't driven a car in it this year, so. Nice and windy up here. Keeps the temps down still. But yeah, it's not that bad of a walk. The first day is the easy day. Then it gets harder. But we'll um, get down here and have a nice swim. Set up the tent. And then uh, have a nice drink and some lunch. I think it's just after 12 o'clock, so we didn't leave till 9. We'll um, get up tomorrow and have a bit of an earlier start, so we'll probably get up at 6 and leave by 7. And get up earlier as we go. Alright, so we just walked past the campsites, and we're just going for a walk down to the waterhole. So, this is... Biddle Dome Cascades Night 1 Camp 1 It's only lunchtime Just give you guys a view Sort of a bit of a look out up here I guess we should be able to see what we're doing oh, There we go Down there's the bottom, and she's all the way up the top, so Looks like there's a bridge just up here that we walk over and we walk around to the top and go for a swim So we're going to go set up camp and go for a swim and have some food So these are your campsites for the night, you don't actually sleep down near the creek for this one but Sort of up on the top of the cliff but Lots of little designated camp areas. It's all nice and green and soft. And then you've just got a short walk over to your toilet there. So we're on a walk across the old riggedy bridge. Going to go for a swim. Still sort of stable. Got camp set up, and I'll show you after. Time to go relax in the water. Oh, it's nice and swishy mud all there. I'll go this way. Plenty of water. A lot more water flowing than there was when I last did it. white water rafting in New Zealand beautiful would you look at that it's just amazing made it to the first swim spot. We've just come upstream a little dome cascades a bit. Pretty much where you cross over for the track just before. And uh, this is what we've got to swim with. There's just little swim holes like that all the way along. Good morning everyone, it is morning two, just going for a walk down to get some, some water to top up for the day. Um, 
Yeah, she it was a bit chilly last night, definitely a lot colder than last time I was here. We um, got it was 16 degrees when I woke up this morning, so uh, last time I was here, I don't reckon it got below 30 overnight. So lucky we had the tent and the fly and sleeping bags and a blanket, <laughs> which some other people didn't. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful morning, the sun's just coming up, so you can sort of see around. It is now 6.44. Don't have to rush too much today. We've um, just got up at 6 and just cooked some oats for breakfast and had a coffee. And uh, yeah, just going to fill the drink bottles up, wash the dishes and pack the tent up and we'll get on our way. And I'll, I'll give you an update once we Start walking. Alright, so we're just walking out of Camp One. Got to follow the the creek up the side, and we should have to cross somewhere up here. Hopefully, we don't get wet feet. Um, it's 7:40, so we left 40 minutes later than we wanted, but always happens on the first morning. Trying to get everything. Organised. Not going that way. We'll go this way. That's better. So it's still nice and cool. Now we've got to figure out where we actually. Oh no, we've got to keep going up. Follow our way up and through the slushy mud. Oh, here we go. Not too bad. Oh, yay. <laughs> Just what we don't want. Around the edge or around the edge? Top way. No, that looks pretty. How slushy is it? It's not too bad. Okay. Says Amanda in her waterproof boots. Don't want wet socks first thing in the morning. No, that's not too bad. We're going to encounter worse. <laughs> so we're still walking up along the creek bit here. Still a bit slushy. <laughs> oh, oh well, we're definitely... Oh, wet sock number one. There's no bridge. We obviously came the wrong way. <laughs> that's why there's a bridge here. I didn't go on this last year. Oop, what's your step? And here we go, wet shoes number one. Alright, let's see if we can get some wet feet. Definitely worth taking the shoes oh, off. We made it across the little crossing. Easier taking the shoes off instead of having wet boots all day because today, day two, um, we're pretty much up on the escarpment all day. Um, so we shouldn't really see any more wet ground or any river crossings today until we get to camp. So no point getting our boots wet already. So yeah, there's um, Aboriginal art to see on the way today, just have to remember where it is and it's not marked out or anything. 
and we uh, might sit there and have a break or have some lunch depending on how we're going with time but yeah besides that today should be should be pretty good it um, shouldn't have any big climbs or descents in it like yesterday and the next coming days so um, we've got 11 k's today and we only had 8.5 yesterday I kept saying 10 so that's why we punched that one out so quickly all right so we've been walking now for close to an hour um, sort of up on the escarpment and you're following creek beds the whole time it's it's cool it's quite interesting we've just come across this one that's actually got its own little waterfall still flowing into it so we're um coming up to where i know there's some rock art so you can tell where they would have camped around here plenty of water so you'd easily miss it if you didn't know about it or I'm too busy walking up the valley but you can see him on camera there big bloke there and you can see the big cliff faces here they must have had a, a camp under so we've just come to our first semi-challenging bit just it's been pretty crazy so far and um, I remember this spot from last time because it's a nice big slushy sort of swampy area down the bottom where there was a heap of pig wallows so there's been heaps more water on the track than last year there's still running water so I dare say this bit could be interesting because I can already see the water from from here so we'll see what it looks like I'm gonna say, see there's water down in there. We've got to find a way across this somewhere. Yeehaw. So there's a, a semi-made bridge built by an engineer. Could do with a bit of an update, I think. Hey guys, um, we've just arrived at camp, night two camp. Um, took us three and a half hours roughly. And um, yeah, I love this campsite. This is my second favourite campsite. You're right by the water. Whereas the last one, you're about oh, about a 500 metre walk walk from the water. So just to go do your dishes and fill up, and that's a bit annoying. But and this one, you get the nice relaxing sound of the stream. So I'll give you a quick tour of what we got here. It's a nice little steep walk. That's where we came in from. And this Got all your cascades out there, we'll have a look in a second. But um, nice shaded campsites, they go on further up the creek. I'll take you for a walk out and show you what's the main reason for coming. Check this out. This is a good swim spot. Lots of nice shallow bits you can just lay down in and relax. And you can go for a swim up the gorge if you want. But it's just beautiful. So um, I'm just going to go set up camp and get our stuff ready and take off our boots and uh, have some lunch and we'll catch up with you after. Hey guys, it is now half past one. We sort of just set up everything and went out a nice swim and a massage of the legs and. And had some food. Couscous was on the menu today, so had that, and uh, yeah, just got camp set up and clothesline, and I'll we'll give you a quick look.
I've um, been setting up the rain fly. I bought it just for shade because it came in handy last time, but just setting it up over the tent like that during the day just to get some extra shade on it. And um, it works good. And then at night time I've been putting the fly on because it's been getting pretty cold. So got down to 16 last night. It'll probably get colder down here because we're we camped right next to the to the water, so we'll uh, see how we go. So for tonight, I've got an American MRE, so your American Army swallow food. It's uh, beef strips and fried rice. So pretty much a stir fry with rice. And, um, they just come in a cryovac bag and you just put them in some boiling water in the bag just to heat them up. This is what she looks like. Got some beef strips, some vegetables, some rice. Good bit of beef there. Good morning everybody, day three, um, we're just leaving Crystal Falls, we just had to wade across the river to get to this side, so it was a morning without putting your boots on until you're across, um, it is 7.06, so it um, would have been a, better to be a bit early, but you have to wait for sunlight to cross the river, so, um, so we got 11, I think we got 11 k's, no, back to 10 k's, yeah, 10 k's today. We've got the amphitheatre to have a look at, so we'll show you that when we get there. And, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. That's down where we've just walked from. I'm going to follow the cascades down and get a good view of the waterfall soon, which you can see the big valley down there. And I'm pretty sure there's a, um, a sign on box as well, so... Leave our presents in there. It's definitely nice starting early in the morning. It's nice and cool this morning. Got down to 16 again last night, but wasn't as dewy. I thought it'd be worse down near the river, but I guess because we were up on the, the grass last time. Go down through a bit of a valley down here. The walks during the day haven't been too bad so far. The first three days are the are the easy days. Got 8.5 k's, uh, I think, and 10 k's. No, 11 k's and 10 k's. Then into a bit of a steep creek here. And um, then if you do it in five days, your last day is I think about 15 k's. If you do it in six days, then it splits that up in half. So we're doing the five day one. Um, there's one other group with us that's doing the five day, the rest are doing the rest are doing um, the six days to break it up, but tomorrow's the big day, 16.8 k's I think, so and everyone's got to do that. And then you've got 11 k's without any water, so make sure you have your four litres. Whoop. It's always fun boulder hopping with a big heavy backpack on the back. Now we've got to get back up out the other side. You can hear the rumble of the waterfall from here, so we must be getting close. So, good way to warm up your legs first thing in the morning. So we've just rocked up to our, <laughs> this is uh, Crystal Falls, so we'll give you a view. Don't fall over the edge. So there it is, Crystal Falls.
not much way getting out of there once you're in there with a beautiful sunrise too it's a good morning right, so we've just made it to the start of the amphitheater six and a half k's uh, been walking for a minute for, uh, a minute an hour 45 so um yeah we smashed that out this morning that was good it's nice and cool we'll head down in there and show you some of the rock art and it's just a nice cool place there's usually running water so good spot to have a rest so this is the sign you come to and then we go down 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 and more down they've sort of cemented a bit of walkway here and then you get down to some proper stairs from here you can see all the way to the other side over there last year we climbed all the way over you can sort of see in the center of the screen another cave over the other side but not going that far this time We've got to get up to there, you can see some paintings up there. I think we should have taken the other path. That's right, we'll go down through here and make our way up. Alright, up to the main wall of paintings. Got some here. Big old tree growing out the side. You get a bit of info about it. Some more paintings, that one's still really good. But yeah, you just scour the edge of these cliffs and there's paintings everywhere. Alright guys, we've been walking for just under 10 k's and we've just got our first side of 17 mile falls. So we uh, we sort of follow this around and, and end up back behind us where that waterfall is. Right, we're at the top end of 17 mile falls. You can see down that way. It's sort of nice, calmer, deeper water but then we get down into some uh, rapidy bits here. Which when I came you could sit sit in where those rapids were. Where are they? Out there. You can sit in the deep holes there. Now we get to a, a mud pit. Water in my shoes already. Nah, it hasn't got any drier. Yeah. Shoes are already covered in mud, so I think we just go. Go that way while I look someone's made it, unless you just want to trek mud to the left. Just got the top one. So if you get to this bit, just walk in the mud because <laughs> you're going to get wet feet. Probably the worst bit because you make the whole trek without getting anything in your boots and then you get to camp and you've got to walk through a big swift bit. All right, done, we're across. Whoop, beep, whoop. 
Can't slip over. And we're just about at camp, I'll show you. This camp is hot because there's no trees for shade. Um, it was a big dirt patch when I was here last year, but luckily I had a, a light fly tarp, so we set that up and sat under it. You can go across the river in the shade, but then you have to do the walk we just did first thing in the morning. And if you want to leave early, it's, it's uh, not recommended wet boots for the start of the day. I'll take you down and we'll have a look at camp. Toilet from up there. So, this is camp. A nice, hard, dry camp. This is sort of it. I'll probably camp behind where I am now. Okay guys, so we've come down to our, our secret big water hole. Um, I don't know if anyone's been down here this year so far. We're the fifth group crew, so it didn't look like there was any footprints on the on the way down, or slide marks more like it. So where we came from is I've got to get it in camera now. Up, up through there, and climbed up the cliff, or well, down the cliff, back up and away. But I'm gonna go down to this waterhole and. Have a beautiful swim. I don't know if you can hear me, but we've made it down under the waterfalls. It is beautiful and cool down here. And there's a fair bit of water coming down. Last year we scuffled out underneath the water and sort of let it hit our bodies. I don't think we'd have any chance of doing that now. So, beautiful down here. And you've got a bit of a billabong with a, a sandy bank. How's it going guys? Um, just getting on to night three now and um, just come up for a walk to the old golden throne. It's quite a flash for out here. You can get one at each uh, each camp. But um, what are we? It's 6.41 now so we just had dinner and the sun's setting as you can see in the background and um, probably head off to bed in the um, next hour or so. We're going to get an early start tomorrow, um, try and be up at 5, leave by 6. Um, it'll still be dark but we'll go with the head torches for uh, about an hour, uh, not an hour, about half an hour, 40 minutes till the sun comes up. Um, just get some K's in before the sun comes up. It hasn't been hot but it's just, it's a lot nicer getting there sort of before lunch time. So um, tomorrow we've got 16.9 k's I think, 16.8 something like that, so it's our biggest day, so um, yeah, we'll get up and get out of them nice and early. Good morning everyone, it is the morning of day four, so we just left 17 mile falls and we are heading to Sandy Camp, my favourite camp. So um, we got an early start this morning because we got 16.8 k's today, so it's a pretty big walk. Um, it's a good walk but it's a long walk um, and we're going to get wet boots today, so. But um, yeah, we left at six in the morning with the headlamps on, up and out of camp, it was good. We've already done 
2.7 k's and it's um, just before 7 o'clock I'm pretty sure so it's been pretty easy walking so far it's um, yeah definitely recommend getting up early and and um, getting some k's under your belt it's still really cool now so still got my thermal top on so it's beautiful so yeah today is sort of a bit of a walk you go through I sort of keep calling it four different planets but you sort of got your escarpment walk like we're on now just trees flat ground and then you got some big bouldery areas and swampy areas and then just your sort of shaded not rainforest but real green areas so it sort of breaks up the walk today we'll um because it's so long we'll, we'll stop and cook up some lunch somewhere along the trail usually we've been waiting till we get to camp then having lunch so just eat snacks on the way but see how long it takes us all depends how muddy our boots all right, get we've had a pretty crazy walk so far it's all been straight and we've only had one one climb and descent and it's um five to eight and we've done 7.1 k's so we've just come up to our first swampy bit though so it's going to be wet boots from here on Yep, you're gonna get wet no matter what. Oh, <laughs> check out the bit Amanda's in. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Amanda's got waterproof boots on, I've just got runners. Doubt that very likely. Sort of, if the if the lump of grass is big enough. All right, just keep going, miss. Yep, just go. <laughs> Ah, oh, this sucks. It's been such a nice walk. Oh, just gonna get wet. This is nice and cold on your feet. That's about the only bonus. And this isn't even the swampy area I was thinking of. That would be real boggy. Oh, we're at the other side now. Alright guys, we've just made it to the Edith River Crossing and what have we done? 11.08 k's, so on the dot. Um, it's good, I thought we were going to get wet boots, but there's a bit of water down there, but we can cross up to the side. Alright, quick update. Um, we're actually at Edith River Crossing now. That wasn't where we were before. So, only another five minutes down the track and this one's much nicer more reliable water source, so this is it. And there is a sign on the other side saying Edith River Crossing, so kind of points it out blindly. <laughs> Alright, so now we're out of all the river crossings and swampy area for a bit and we come up onto this huge rocky plateau 
and um, I don't know if you can see down through there, that's the creek, so it still runs down alongside of us, but we cruise along up on this rocky area for a bit. So we just got to a section up on this rocky plateau, plateau called um, Channels Waterhole, so we'll go show you. Yeah, it's just a huge rocky plateau up here. Goes for ages. And then the water's carved its own track out down through the middle, which is pretty cool. It's a big pond up the back there, and then she just cruises all the way down through, back down to the river. Pretty cool spot. All right, we're still cruising along. We just went through another another swampy bit and got the boots all wet again. There's no way around it. We're at 14.6 um, k's, so we're getting there. We've got 16.8 or 9 to go, to do. So we've just come out to this bit, which is a, an old dry floodplain, and it's just hard and full of um, buffalo and pig hoof holes. So it's a bit of a landmine field. You sort of got to watch where you're going, but it goes for a couple k's. So it makes for slow walking. We just went through a big, uh, big floodplain section, and grass was up over our heads, and there wasn't really any markers. So that was a fun bit. There's sort of trails everywhere in the grass where everyone had been walking around, searching where to go. So, and then even. Um, from the sign and the sign inbox at Edith River Crossing, the north one, there wasn't really any markers of where the track goes. There was yellow markers up to the, the helipad, but there wasn't any blue markers to where to walk, but we could sort of see a, a worn track, so we just followed that and until we seen a blue marker. Guys, we've come up to another crossing, but this one involves knee deep water and since my shoes are already covered in mud we're going through oh it's nice and refreshing on your feet easy as that now we get squishy shoes for 2k's and that's alright They've been semi squishy the whole walk, so. <laughs> We've sort of been walking a few hundred metres in this nice, nice slush for a few hundred metres through. You get about 10 metre break, you think you're good, and then you're back in the slush again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, absolutely love it. You sort of get to a point where you don't care <laughs> and you just, you just walk. Right guys, this is coming up to Sandy Camp. Here's the creek we've been following the whole time. Bit of a bush bash through here. Can't you get through down there? And uh, the markers for the last K have been a bit all over the place. Now we do a bit of a rock skip. Oh, I'm glad to be here. We've done 16.63 k's. And over the ledge, da da! Sandy camp. This place is cool. This is our last camp for the trip 
tomorrow morning we hike out. We skipped the last camp. There's, I think it's Sweetwater, the last one. Because um, from Sweetwater to back to Edith Falls is only 4.5 k's, so we're just going to hike out. But over there under those trees is a nice big sandy area, which is beautiful and comfortable to sleep on and relax. It's a nice waterhole here, you can have a deeper swim in. Wash your shoes like Amanda's doing. <laughs> Might give mine a bit of a, my shoes a bit of a quick rinse off. Get rid of some of that sticky, stinky mud. Oop, she's a bit slippery across this one. Whee! Now we'll head across to camp. This is another sort of squishy campsite in a way, like everyone's in the one spot, but by this time of the hike you've been talking to everyone anyway. Last time I did this last year, this was my favourite camp overall. So I'm a bit excited to be here again. And there was a rope swing into the, the water last time, so that was good entertainment. Here we go, Sandy Camp. Beautiful big sandy area, right on the water. Can't wait. <laughs> uh, so I got that on video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 